I welcome you all to today's video. Today we are going to discuss heart rate calculation from the electrocardiogram. All right. So there are three methods to calculate heart rate. One is short square method. Another is large box method or large square method. And third is from the calculating the number of QRS complex or RR method. Number of calculating the total R waves on the rhythm strip of the ECG. Each method has its own advantage and a minor disadvantage I would say. So uh, you must remember that the paper speed is 25 millimeter per second that means in one second there are 25 small boxes running under the ECG paper right so if in one second 25 Seg, uh, small boxes or 25 millimeter is moving then in 60 seconds because when we calculate heart rate it has to be per minute that means per 60 second in 60 second it will be 25 into 60 so that equals to 1500 millimeter or 1500 small boxes because we know one small box is 1 millimeter so in the short square method, this is uh, what we do is we measure the two R wave. Alright, this is one R wave top of the R wave. This is second top of the R wave. Now in between the RR interval, we measure number of small boxes. So how many number of small boxes are there? Like this. So if in between the RR interval, one RR interval, number of small boxes we measure and suppose they are 10. So heart rate will be 1500 divided by 10. That equals to 150 per minute. Alright. So this is how we calculate heart rate from short square method. We just calculate the number of small segments in between two RR interval and then divide it by the number of uh, 1500 are divided by number of the small segments. Alright? Because it takes 1500 millimeter uh, to travel uh, in one minute. So 1500 divided. If there are number of segments are uh, 20, then it will be 1500 divided by 20. So it will be like 75 per minute like that. Okay. So this is how we calculate the heart rate. The advantage um, of this is that it can be used in faster heart rates. Uh, but it will be used in only regular heart rates. Because suppose if there is sinus arrhythmia. Sinus arrhythmia means heart rate is varying uh, because of the respiration. Uh, and this is especially seen in young adults. So if you take a deep breath, you know, vagal is inhibited and you have a faster heart rate. So if the heart rate is faster, what will happen? RR interval will shorten. If during expiration, the heart rate will slow down. So what will happen is, RR interval will lengthen. Okay, like this. Then again, it will become shorter. So if you happen to calculate the uh, small segments in between this RR interval, the number of uh, the heart rate will be more because of the number of the small segments uh, will be less. And if you calculate the small segments in between this RR interval, the heart rate is slowed. So you don't know which is the true heart rate. So it is not applicable for irregular heart rate. Alright, it is applicable for, for regular heart rate. And if heart rates are fast, that means more than 100 or so, it is applicable, right? So this was short segment uh, or short square method. Now we come to large square method or large box method. Uh, now we know that one large box 
is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 small boxes. Right? So, 1 large box is equal to 5 small boxes. So, that means in 1 minute, 1500 small boxes are crossing. So, how many large boxes will move? 1500 divided by 5. So, that will be 300. So, when the uh, paper speed is 25 millimeter per second, there will be 300 large boxes moving in on the paper in 1 minute. Clear? So, this is the large box uh, method, the beginning of it. Now, again the same. What we do is, we take two RR intervals. This is 1 and this is 2. So, this is RR interval and we calculate the number of large boxes. Alright? So, this is one large box. This is second large box. This is third large box. And it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right? So, it will be like three large boxes. 1, 2, 3. Three large boxes. So, again 300 divided by three large boxes. So, the heart rate will be 100. Right? Heart rate will be 100. Clear? And if there is one large box, only one large box, 300 divided by 1, heart rate is 300. So, one large box, 300. Two large boxes, 150. And then three large box, 100. Right? So, this will be 300. And this will be not 250, 150 and then this will be 100, right? Three large boxes. So, this is by large boxes, okay? Now, the third is, again, this large box is very good uh, because a quick method, you know, it's a quick method. So, in clinical practice, it is very good for calculating heart rate, which is calculate in between the two or two large boxes, very easy, right? Uh, but it is applicable for normal sinus rhythm. That means when the heart rate is regular and when its uh, rate is between 60 to 100. Because at faster heart rates, uh, it will be very difficult because most of the boxes, uh, like this is one RR interval, so most of the boxes, you know, this will be half box kind of thing. So for calculating the large boxes, it will be very difficult. So at that time, uh, calculating small segments in between the RR interval will give you more precise reading. And then again, it will not be useful for irregular heart rate, such as in atrial fibrillation or in um, sinus arrhythmia or in multiple ectopics and when there are pauses because again, uh, the heart rate will vary from uh, one part of the strip to the next part of the strip. So, the third method is, is the RR method. Here, what we take a rhythm strip. You know, the rhythm strip is the ECG whole strip is 10 second strip. So, the whole ECG is confined in 10 seconds. So, you calculate the RR interval. So, like suppose this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4, this is 5, uh, sorry, this is 5, this is 6, this is 7, then 8, this is something irregular, and then 9. So, in suppose and then maybe 10, then I will take 10. So, in 10 seconds, this is a 10 second rhythm strip. In 10 seconds, how many are the RR interval? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 RR interval are there. Okay? So, in 60 seconds, how many will be? So, 10 divided by 10 into 60. So, it will be 60. So, heart rate will be 60 per minute. So, in nutshell, uh, RR method is you calculate the number of R waves on the rhythm strip. So, number of R waves on the rhythm strip multiplied by 6. This is the easiest method guys I tell you. No confusion at all. Okay. So, just calculate the rhythm strip, calculate RR interval, multiply by 6. And it will give you heart rate, be it regular, be it irregular, be it fast, be it slow. So, I think this is, um, I usually do by this because I find it very easy. 
to calculate like this. So I will again revise one more time all the formula. If you are calculating heart rate by short square method, which is useful for regular heart rate. Okay, so for regular heart rate, we have two methods: short square method and long box method or long square method. And here the formula will be fifteen hundred. Divided by the number of the small segments that you calculate between the RR interval, and in long 300 divided by number of the large boxes that you calculate between the RR interval. And for irregular heart rates or very fast heart rates or very slow heart rates, you just calculate the number of the R waves. Okay, R waves. Number of R waves multiply it by ten uh, by six. Multiply it by six. This will give you the heart rate per minute. Now sometimes you see that the speed is fifty millimeter per second. Okay. So if the speed is fifty millimeter per second, so you will have to calculate according to fifty millimeter per second. So, if in one second it is moving fifty uh, millimeter, in sixty seconds it will move in fifty to sixty. So this will be thirty zero zero three thousand. So just the double of the fifteen hundred, right? Again, you will do the same. You will calculate the number of small segments and divide three uh, thousand divided by the number of small segments in between the. Two RR interval in short square method, and then again it will be number of um, uh, small. Uh, uh, then you calculate similarly for the large boxes also. Okay, so this is how you are going to calculate if the paper speed is uh, double. It's more than uh, 25. It is 50. So generally uh, it is not so, and we have 25 millimeters. So our mind is too to calculate like that. But if at all you happen to see 50 millimeter. Then you again apply the same principle that you have applied to. But you have to just double everything, right? Okay. So I just show you on the ECG graph itself now. All right. Come on. Let's do it here. Now this is one ECG. Now this is the rhythm strip. This is always a 10 second strip. Now I have calculated. Now this will be RR interval. Okay. And I have calculated one, two, three, roughly four. These are the four large boxes. So by large box method, it will be see here three hundred divided by four. So approximate heart rate is seventy-five per minute. Then you calculate small boxes here. And how many are since the large boxes are four means one. This is one. This is two. This is three. And here one millimeter more and four. So it is. Four large boxes, and each box has five millimeter in it. So it will be twenty small segments. So fifteen hundred divided by twenty. Again, the heart rate comes to seventy five. All right. Now I will uh, calculate by the R R method also. So just calculate the number of R waves: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. ठीक है यू मे इंक्लूडेड यू मे नॉट बट थर्टीन आई विल इंक्लूड सो थर्टीन इंटू सिक्स दिस इज सेवेंटी एट सो रफली दे आर ऑल सिमिलर सो दिस इज हाउ यू कैलकुलेट द हार्ट रेट सो फॉर मी इन क्लिनिकल प्रैक्टिस आई जस्ट डू दिस वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स लाइक दैट एंड देर इज एन ऑल्सो वन मोर थिंग आई थिंक इट इज गुड फॉर हिंदी दोज हु अंडरस्टैंड हिंदी लैंग्वेज Uh, because uh, i have this like you know crammed up uh, this that uh, first large box will be the 300 300 150 100 75 100 theek hai so 300 150 100 75 60 50 40 43 37 37 now actually i have crammed it because i just remember uh, if i calculate by like, like this is a large box i just say one box 300 150 One fifty, so hundred, pechatter, seventy-five, है ना? And if it will be more like between two, this thing, uh, so three so x of pechas, so pechatter, sart, pechas, sixty, fifty, forty-three, three alleys, है ना? Forty-three and thirty-seven. 
this is how i remember and in pre clinical practice you will be no, uh, get getting heart rate like not less than 37 in almost always and uh, not more than 300 almost always so uh, i just you know i kind of remember and i am very comfortable in remembering it in hindi language that's why i uh, you know kind of telling to the people who understand in hindi so 300 150 75 60 50 43 and 37 this is how i remember and otherwise the simplest method is calculate the rr base now here also now, now this is a you see this is the upper one is atrial fibrillation right you can see there are no clear cut p waves you know this is a large rr interval this is small this is middle it is smaller it is a bigger so every time the rr interval is varying and here you can see the short tooth appearance of the p wave this is atrial flutter but you can see that rr interval is varying this is small this is bigger this is small that is because there is um, variable conduction through the av node so uh, atrial flutter with variable conduction now here uh, you cannot calculate by short segment or large segment if you try to calculate by short segment uh, now here 300 150 100 75 60 uh, so it will be 60 by large boxes and here 300 150 100 even less than 75 around 70 uh, uh, from large box this method so this is uh, varying you know so what we'll do we'll just calculate rr waves 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 and we'll say 9 into 6 is equal to 54 so that is a heart rate right similarly 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 so 8 into 6 48 is the heart rate that is the average heart rate right and same you know here also Now there are artifacts here, so it's difficult to. These are all artifacts, right? So it's difficult to measure. So what you'll do is just calculate: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So sixteen into six. How much? Seven hundred. Nine. Ninety-two. 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 Ninety-two.
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व एंड हाउ मच वॉज यर वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व मे बी थर्टीन सो वॉट यू कैन डू सपोजिंग यू डोंट हैव एनी रिदम स्टे यू जस्ट कैलकुलेट हॉरिजोंटली इन डिफरेंट लीज सो स्टार्ट फ्रॉम यर सो प्रॉबेबली वी मिस्ट इट सो वी कैन कैलकुलेट वन टू थ्री Again, this will be because it's a transition, no? Uh, so that's why there will be one complex. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So uh, roughly it will be similar, right? So that way also you can calculate. So for today that's enough. I think heart rate calculation uh, is clear to you all. And keep learning and spread the knowledge and share the knowledge. And uh, thank you very much. And uh, see you next time. Jai Hind.